I, I just believe sometimes disappointment hits and it's good to hear a word that heaven's still charged up, that heaven isn't dismayed the fact that you've faced some disappointment. And I just wanted to say that I really felt like the Holy Spirit was saying something, that you can still have your biggest shift. And you know what your biggest shift is? Your belief system. And this is what came to me. I was watching a, a video uh, my husband wanted me to watch Sunday about the, it was Tim Sheets, I think his name was, talking about angelic force, that this is the campaign of an, an angels. So it went along with this post I made a couple of days ago. It was actually a prophetic word that came to me a while ago, and I reposted it because I felt like it was so prevalent for right now. And this is... I think I just lost it. This is it, okay? If it, my computer will go. This is the word. So see if this resonates with you. Live or recorded. It's cool. Heaven is charged up. Some of you may have seen this on my Facebook page, so I'm sorry. You can just go on to the next post. Heaven is charged up. I asked why and what that meant. I was asking the Holy Spirit because I heard the Holy Spirit say, Heaven is charged up. This was like so exciting. So let's see what this I said, I asked why, the Holy Spirit said many are coming to that place of breakthrough on the inside. I love that. When breakthrough happens on the inside, something's going to manifest on the outside. And many are starting to see the results of correct kingdom beliefs, resulting in inside transformation that has outside manifestations of what you're hoping for. He said, to tell me, to tell you, hold on. It's, don't let the disappointment bury you. That's what I'm adding. Stay abiding. You are shaking heaven and the breaking means answered prayers are coming. Listen with your spiritual ears. The lion is roaring, not to scare, but to declare the kingdom of God is at hand. So this is what I believe the shift is in your belief systems. I realize I, I, I want to pray too because I asked if you want me to pray live and I, I'm going to do that before my next consult. So, how do I say this? As you shift your belief systems, okay, and you start shifting them by making declarations outside, declarations with your voice because your voice carries the cadence of heaven. When you start declaring that, I truly believe the design and frequencies of heaven, boom, they shift. But now with this angel word, I really believe that the angels are like delighted to take those words in the atmosphere and hurry, because there's an acceleration, and in a hurried fashion, in a suddenly fashion, go forward and make those prayers, make those declarations a reality in your life. Are you catching this? I am so excited about that. So the shift in belief system, where does that come from? Well, this group says purpose, destiny, and identity. It should be identity, purpose, destiny. Because when you truly understand your identity, when you truly believe that God loves you, that he calls you his much loved son, when you truly believe and walk that out, when you realize that you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that's part of the soul, when you can actually use the issues of the soul, mind, will, emotions, and use them correctly in conjunction with your spirit, being spirit driven and not soul driven, you can make these declarations by faith. You know, faith has no feelings. Faith is faith. Faith is like a muscle. I believe faith, perseverance is the muscle of your faith. So as you persevere, as you're resilient, this is so cool. I'm, I'm, I'm getting blessed because I feel like the Holy Spirit's telling me this too. When you're resilient in the face of disappointment, and you go forward and shift your belief system that you're not a failure. I'm not a failure. You're not struggling. You're not. I'm struggling, but I'm a, it's not what it is. It's what my faith's going to make it is. So I may be struggling, but what my faith says is based on my identity. My identity is going to respond and not react. When you respond, you respond from your place in heaven. Talk to you in the next video. And I really do love you.